B1 Fans all too well. Mm. That's a little loud, isn't it? I think we're good. All right, let's let's get started. I don't know what I'm in for, but let's get started. Futs around a bit because I need to change settings, uh, but I have not started the game at all yet, so there's there are credits. But I wonder if credits might be a spoilery. <laughs> We can't select new- Oh, these sound effects are familiar. <laughs> these, these are some Pony Island sound effects. So, we can't choose new game. Mind you, I, I have not booted up this game until today. And I did not start a new game. So, I can't start new game. But I can continue. So that's interesting. So let's continue. Let's see what continue does for us. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Stoop and a squirrel. Mm. 
now play your stunt. So zero and one heart. So S puts us back to our hand. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Okay. Yes. We have... An honorable death. Play the stoat. Okay, W lets us look at their hand. Stoat has one attack and three hearts. Okay. So, some cards need sacrifices. Wolves require two sacrifices. We do not have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. It's a very fancy scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. So, I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five notches. So, five hits, and I win. Or five pips of damage, and I win. I assume. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. Okay. I'm following so far. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Um, I can choose between drawing a squirrel or drawing from my deck. Interesting. How dumb. Okay. So, if I do that, I can do this. Oh, hey, stop! Fear not. The beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Uh, that card talked to us. Well, shit. <laughs> was real, but you will see it again. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. So then how do I attack? How do I... How do I attack? Okay. Oh, okay. 
Because you are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck, or the certainty of a squirrel. River Snapper. I can look at my cards. dealt three weights on the scale. story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. of the forest approached you tentatively. The caustic adder. Damage from its poison is always lethal. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill it. Oh, that sounds hot, potentially horrible. <laughs> Only one may grace your paltry deck. I don't like this. I get, um, see, <laughs> they're already doing it. Okay, so they. <laughs> Cards apparently actually suffer, but strategically speaking, it feels good to have something that I can sacrifice multiple times. Then again, it has no attack and only has one health. So, meanwhile, the adder is very difficult to summon because it's two blood, and it still only has one health and deals one damage, but it deals poison apparently, so they, the opponent would take poison damage, I see. But does the poison damage count towards the scale, or does it count towards the monster? I assume the monster. <sighs> this is gonna be bad, but let's go with the cat. Behold the rule book. When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Touch of death. When a card bearing this sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Okay. Appendix. Is that an X or a subsection 6? Abilities 4. How large is this rule book? <laughs> Alright. I think we're gonna go with the cat for now. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You 
came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. It'll allow you to tip the scales with it. The three is as much you can carry. Squirrels in bottles and something I can use to literally tip the scales? Hmm. while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. He's going to play a wolf cub next. I have a boulder. It's like... Oh, I see. So these are all just obstacles before I'm able to actually deal damage to him. So I'm gonna need max three. I know, I know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just looking. Here we go. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Airborne black bat flies over creatures to attack it directly. Ha! My bat flew right over your cat. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate 
my disappointment. Get up. Give. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Uh. I'm. Wasting? Okay. There's a hammer, there's a. Okay, sorry, I'm just taking everything in. Um, we have a clock behind us, looks like a cuckoo clock. The door is locked. We have a cabinet. Uh, candlesticks with only one lit. What is this? Uh, hmm. We're all holding a knife in some sort of contraption. Hi. Hi. Uh, sorry. Don't mean to get up in your personal space. I'm just curious. Yeah, hi. <laughs> You're nothing but eyes, aren't you? Okay, so, uh, wolf in a cage. Glow. Some kind of globe. Okay. Bring it here. Okay. Okay, he wants it here. Now sit back down. Okay. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now where were we? Okie dokie then! <laughs> It grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow, an expen inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. I think our bang for our buck is... A card bearing this sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. Look, we all know. Direct attacks. <laughs> Pretty good, right? So, uh, let's go for the Sparrow this time. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. That's rude. I literally just got the sparrow. Hmm. Pick me. You looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. What an honor. A ghastly 
the spectacle, but the soul of the cat now lives in the stoat. So what's going on with the stoat, huh? Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. That's... rude. <laughs> okay, what's going- what are, we, what are we doing? He's going to play a bat and a coyote, and the coyote can fly. Great. Let's do Sparrow. Alright. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. That just seems really rude. I can't seem to choose. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. What does the scales do? What does the pliers do? Both do two damage though. I'm still gonna be fucking. What does this do? Ow! Ow! Excuse me! That was not <laughs> what I was expecting. A well-earned point of damage indeed. I'm not sure if that was worth it. I didn't think you'd really do it. Well, if I knew that's what it was going to do, I maybe would have held back now. <laughs> How many teeth do I have? You know? just went now. No, because it... I see. It's... I have to not only... do more... I have to out-damage him. This is difficult. <laughs> this is rough. I'm not gonna lie. You're four damage away from winning. best here. I need to get rid of that bat. I think, I think, I think I need to get rid of that bat.
There's really not much I can do. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. You think you can do this stuff? Back on the board. Okay, I'm understanding this a little bit better now. Positioning is also really important. Oh, hi, Satch. Yeah, this is my first time playing at all. I don't know what's going on or what's happening, and I pulled my tooth out? I don't know if that was worth it. <laughs> yeah, so you get to watch me flail around and not understand anything. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I already... Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I figured that's what you meant. Um, I already fucked up once, so apparently I can't fuck up again, or else I'm gonna get sacrificed. Elk. The flighty elk. It moves after attacking. That's interesting. The conniving raven, a blight upon the skies. The stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable defense. What is this? What is this? A sprinter, at the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. So he's just going to be constantly shifting over, I assume. Hmm, that's interesting. But I kind of like the idea of flying... more flyers. I'm sure there's going to be a counter to that at some point, but like... Let's try, let's try that. See how this goes. Uh. Mm. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance, enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Yeah, I am. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I got a, I got a hmm too over here, Stoat. The fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. 
Okay. I thought maybe it might be a trick, but it did actually enhance it. Well, it seems legit. <laughs> There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. I mean, considering the cabin is set up like like an escape room, I kind of figured the like... Hmm, okay. Grand Fur. Hmm? Mighty Leap. A card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature be bearing the airborne sigil. What happened here? Hmm? I wasn't trying to draw. <laughs> Yikes, a grizzly bear. Okay. Sorry, Stout. Is this gonna hurt? This spot? You sure? I'm not sure, but I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, sorry! It's supposed to be rough at first, but this is rough. <sighs> Alas, it is time for you to perish. <laughs> to die. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please, choose a card to draw the cost from. I mean, it really doesn't matter. They're both cost of two blood from the raven. And another. This time I will use its power and health. The numbers. Four power and two health from the wolf. Now, choose a card from which we will extract the sigil. 
a sigil of airborne from the sparrow. I never did ask your name. Oh boy. Yeah, I figured, I figured, because uh, when we started, we were continuing a game instead of, like, a new game, so clearly it was kind of cold open, I assumed. <laughs> oh god, I am becoming a card! <laughs> this really is Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> there is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You can you gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Stoat. Uh, I gotta rescue myself from the spooky cabin, man, not just my grandpa. <laughs> Alright. From the death of your creature, you gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Mm. Is this the same stoat? It is the same stoat. He's moving. <laughs> uh, I've been trying to avoid hurting the stoat, but it's kind of hard. While he was asleep again? <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I don't know, at the very least, that stoat's gonna sass me again. <laughs> Seven three. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna bust open a notepad. Look, I played Pony Island. I played Pony Island. I know there's some shit going down.
Let's see. Block an opposing creature bearing the... Yeah, so he's... This guy's a counter to flying types, basically. By Furricane Strike. Oh, hey, I can flip through this. Oh, there's, there's a lot, though. Oh my god, there's so much! Stinky! Oh my god, there's so many. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. It was about ponies, right? Pony Island. Just, just about ponies. Nothing else. Okay. Um... Hang on. It's the bullfrogs. It's one, right? Yeah, it should be fine. Oh, I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Okay, that's the manual. Is the time mean anything? I can't tell. What's the sh is this the shorthand? Short, long, second? Right now it is 12, 15, maybe. I don't know. Is. Huh. Is this a picture of what I. No, actually, what is this picture? Oh, there's, there's something moving in here. Uh... Do I even want to poke that? What... What happens if I poke this? <laughs> hi, hi, Daisy. Hey, you know, it's one of the spin-offs. <laughs> It's one of those weird spin-offs of you, yeah. Oh, please don't stare at me like that. <laughs> no, really, I am a little curious as to what happens if I were to do that. But for now, let's open the safe. Uh, 273, was it? if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is p is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. No, I'm taking it and I'm taking this key. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking the key. Huh? I can't seem to pick that guy up now. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I don't know how this works yet. Um, but it's clearly a puzzle we're gonna need to solve. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, hmm. Two, one, one, three. One, three, one, three. Interesting. I see... Well, it's it's in the shape of the board, right? That the bell is when the turn ends. He's looking at me. <laughs> um... Okay, this, no, this has to be some kind of, wait a minute, zero, one, 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 no, I don't know, there's, there's a little too much going on here, I don't know if I can figure it out right now, uh, we'll come back to this later, I guess. Oh, I gotta know. Nothing happens. Okay, then. Wait. Well, the smoke's going up here. Um. I, I don't know if that did anything other than it collected smoke up here. Is that important? like how he's looking at me. <laughs> Have a good lurk. I can't get these free, but I can look at the rule book. I don't know if there's anything else in here other than- oh! Oh! There's a lot of ink over these guys. Remember them? Boon of the goat's blood. Boon of the forest. Boon of the bone lord. Harpy's bird-like fan. Harpy's... <laughs> They're making it too easy. <laughs> to keep making the jokes. Oh, hey, look. This actually tells me. See, if I had... If I'd known I could look at the rule book, then I would have known that I would be fucking pulling my teeth out. To the user, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. <laughs> this bottle of goo has no use. Okay, I, maybe I should stop looking. I don't know if this is... I mean, I doubt it's any sort of, like, really, like... Spoilery, spoilery. Oh, I've gone right around, okay. Let us continue. Okay. I mean, it's true, the pain is temporary, but, uh, the loss of your tooth is permanent. <laughs> the meager coyote, but what did you expect for only four bones? A nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, once past its monstrous fame. The unkillable cockroach, it returns to your hand after dying. When a, when a card bearing the sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. Okay. 
Oh, I don't know what's good. I don't even know if I should be building sort of any particular deck construction, question mark. Um, I mean, Rattler... Rattler costs a lot. I kind of... My Cockroach doesn't do much damage, but I can get kind of like an infinite amount of them once I've played it. So it's kind of like... Maybe worth it. But I guess you need to pay the bones every time, too, huh? You know, you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me to time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. <laughs> he says after I've already opened his safe and like took the card in there. Okay. Um, there's honestly nothing we can do at the moment, I think. So. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. A rock may get you out of a hard place. A powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. Choose one. Oh, the skip sounds good. Your adversary will entirely skip their next turn. A boulder is created in your hand. A boulder is defined as 0 power, 5 health. You may cut up one of your adversary's cards. It is destroyed. Let's go for the turn skip. Feeling overburdened enough with three full items you carried on. Can I get rid of the pl mm, the pliers? How many more teeth am I gonna have to pull out of my head? You again? Indeed! Our friend freed me! Well, I basically told them how to do it. You've got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. I don't know, Stoke. You didn't really tell me anything quite yet. You told me to play. That's about it. Eh, spider. Yeah. Okay, wolf cub. Creatures adjacent to a card bearing the sigil gain one power. Hmm. Opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. Interesting. <laughs> A 
enough? damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be pre precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. The trapper? Also, okay, so like, all of them are just teeth, huh? <laughs> We're all just all just the pips are all teeth. It's teeth all the way down. <laughs> the watchful bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. It's me! <laughs> and not- and not in the fun Undertale kind of way. It's me. <laughs> oh, I didn't- I was gonna pick myself out of curiosity. Well, 